right then guys back with another very uh, short video since uploading the 9900k plus z170m oc formula video i have got very uh, varying comments and feedback about the actual uh, modding process right now i'm doing the same uh, vrm temperature test on the evga z390 dark motherboard using the same uh, 5.3 gigahertz overclock with all calls and threads with uh, 4.8 on the cache and fairly nice daily configuration on the uh, memories with uh, the same 1.28 set v core and that's pretty much the same as on the ashrock board when measured with a multimeter the cpu temperatures are around uh, 70 degrees or slightly above and uh, I'm trying to run the worst possible uh, scenario here, so I'm not running any uh, heatsink on the VRM itself. I have no, I have not placed a, a fan on top of them, and even the uh, fan near the power and reset buttons is uh, disabled. So now the socket area is entirely passively cooled. And when looking at the motherboard's uh, debug LED, it's currently monitoring the BWM temperature, and it's reading. 64 degrees and the test has been running uh, well over an hour now and uh, when uh, measuring with an uh, infrared thermometer we are reading uh, around 40 mid 50s mid 50s to high 50s well less than 60 degrees anyways from the actual uh, MOSFETs themselves. I can uh, easily even touch the MOSFETs themselves. They are a bit warm, but they uh, they are not really burning that much. So, uh, considering that the temperature we measured from the ASHOC was around uh, 85 degrees, but that was measured from the uh, chokes, not from the actual uh, MOSFETs themselves, as the uh, MOSFETs were blocked by the large uh, heatsink assembly which was also slightly actively cooled by the fan the EVGA dark muffer board is beating the old Skylake Astro board on the VRM temperatures by at least 30 degrees considering the slight uh, difference in cooling so uh, the, the results we're getting here are pretty much from another planet and uh, <sighs> Core temp is reading around 175 watts uh, uh, power load for this type of uh, stress testing, as this is not using AVX. So, considering that the ASRock board could pass Cinebench R15 at 5.5 gigahertz with slightly less V core, I can happily say that a board like this, so the EVGA Z390 Dark, can reach much better daily configuration considering the significantly lower VRM and CPU temperatures. The lower temperatures allow you to go higher in, higher in uh, voltage and therefore uh, reaching a higher CPU speed that way. And also the uh, stability is also much better when the uh, temperatures are lower. So uh, you should not be hunting for an older Skylake or Kaby Lake buffboard from uh, sites like eBay. Since the original modding guides came for the Ashrock models, I have seen the uh, price requests gone up on the Z170M OC formula from uh, let's say 150 euros to even as high as 300 euros or above. So paying a so huge price for an unofficial solution like that I don't really see any point in that so uh, of course there's some v core differences uh, between the motherboard models it would have been nice nicer to have uh, some more uh, models to compare against but uh, when looking at these uh, temperature results I would really like to stress out that you should be getting a motherboard like this which is a much more stable solution than uh, using an older board like that. Of course, the results were really, really amazing, but 
the idea about modding an old Skylake board to uh, accommodate an 8-core coffee lake like this. It's more about what can be done with your existing hardware rather than what you should be getting at this uh, moment in time. So, uh, so I hope this shed some light on the subject. It was really nice to see how uh, good the VRM temperatures stay at even when they are entirely passively cooled. The dark is pretty much at the same level on uh, VRM temperatures with the highest end muffer board from Gigabyte for Z390. So uh, I don't really see many muffer board options that would be better than this to uh, buy for your new uh, daily system. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching this very uh, short video and uh, see you soon.